Yay, MJ Chess for you, 100 bits. Thanks for the support, MJ Chess. Sorry, you have to go. GMJX is rating with a party of 259. Who's GMJX? Is that Jeffrey Shong? Who else is JX and a GM? Who else could it be? Yes. Thanks, Jeffrey. How can Jeffrey raid somebody? That would insinuate he knows how, how Twitch works. What? What's Jeffrey doing on Twitch? You played a match today with somebody, but I don't know who you played, but I assume you won. So congrats. Jeffrey has a channel now. Really? Wow. Jeffrey's channel is full of morons, but Jeffrey's a genius. Well, I assume he won because who's going to be Jeffrey Shong in a match? Nobody, that's who. Tim Cannon 25. I have a story only you guys would like. So I played Jeffrey in the World Open a couple of years ago. It was either two years ago or three years ago. I don't remember. We'll say two years because I can't remember three years ago. And the game ended. I lost. And then I put his game on the chess.com caps. And he played 99.4. And when I play a perfect game, like a blitz game, because my pawn hangs a piece every move, it says I played 99.2. So he played better than like I've ever seen. Okay, now what do I do? I must have put up stiff resistance. That's what she said. Um, I don't know here. How did Jeffrey do in his match and who was he playing against? Does anybody know? A lot of you are from Jeffrey's streams. So you probably know. U.S. Chess is rating with a party of 30. We got like four rates today. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the raid. Somebody give U.S. Chess a shout out. Oh, you did. Alessia beat GM. It was an adoption match. Oh, he had to win 10-0 and he didn't? He was commentating. Wait, what do you mean he was commentating? Somebody said he lost the match. What? He won 10-0 and he still lost. Hi, Ben. Gowry here. We just did commentary for K-12. All right, Awesome. No odds, three plus zero. Today he was commentating another. That was yesterday. Oh, okay. I still don't understand what happened. It sounds like yesterday he played a match where he had to adopt his opponent and did not. And then today he commentated. That's what it sounds like. But the chat's always confusing me. Always sack the exchange. Shall it be is rating with a party of one. Shall it be, shall it be, shall it be, shall it be. If you like onions, shall it be. Boom, boom, boom. Mm Hooray for Ben. Zero mistakes, zero blunders, zero missed wins. Let's do a thing and see how I played. Where's the thing? Uh, I don't see the thing. Add to library, classroom, download. I did figure it out. 89.6. No. What about all my brilliant play? Oh, yeah, that's right. Probably wasn't any brilliant play. But I'm at depth 18, so I played better. 89.6, he played 79.8. It says I made one mistake and five inaccuracies. Terrible. 
<laughs> I like in this position, it says, Knight takes f3, x clam. <laughs> That's a great move. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, and so forth. There was only one good move, and you found it. That's right. All right, stupid chess.com. For 23,000 seconds. God damn. Mm. <laughs> All right, who am I supposed to play now? Uh, okay. 982. Nine. Background noise is probably stuff from your computer. So you got you should fix that. Also, probably there's people yelling at your house, so you gotta tell them be quiet. Wait, what country is this? South Korea. I played you yesterday. <laughs> Man, I knew Jeffrey Zhang when he was like 12. He was playing in the U.S. Junior Championship and beating everybody. Even the games he lost. He still won somehow. I guess he's 22 now, yeah? If I was Jeffrey Shong, I'd be 22. Jeffrey Shong. And let's see, how old are you? 22. Yeah, he turned 22 two months ago. Yeah, so I've known him for 10 years. It talks about his Twitch channel. He has 4,000 followers. Terrible. He must have just started. I don't know how you came up with that, but I'm glad you did. Yeah. What vitamin supplements do you guys take for better brain and body health? What? No weirdos in the chat. How was JX when he was 12? He was good. He was probably like 2,400 USCF strength. And if he was better than that, I apologize for, you know, saying you were worse than you were. I think that's about right. I think 2,400 USCF when he was 12. Now he's like 2,775 USCF, I guess. Something like that. Maybe he's not that high. Jeffrey Shong, this is this is shocking because this is when I was 50. Jeffrey Shong is the only player I've ever played in a FIDE rated slow game. You got that FIDE rated slow? You understand? Not Blitz, not online, not USCF rated, but not FIDE rated. No. Slow FIDE, who was 2,700 FIDE. And that's when I was 50. So my whole career, I never played a 2,700 feet in a slow game until I played Jeffrey. And that's because when I was in my 20s and 30s, there weren't 2,700 feet rated players. That was very uncommon. That, that just didn't happen. Now there's like 50 players at least who are 2,700 feet, at least 50. But when I was in my 20s, there were like four. And when I was a little kid, when Karpov was the world champion in like 1977, 78, he wasn't even 2,700 feet. Away. God damn. Now everybody's 2,700, but not, not then. And I wasn't playing in Super GM tournaments. I was playing Rufus and Doofus. I've played a lot of grandmasters you heard of who later became 2,700, but not when I was playing them. You know, like Anand and stuff. Like when Yasser was like 26, 20 feet a, he was like number nine in the world. 
They didn't have 2700s when I was playing. That was that was reserved for like fish.